I'm Beaner with The Real News. You've seen this building on the news before. It's the American Embassy in Havana, Cuba. What do you hear in the news exactly, though? You hear about politics. How does that pertain to you? It doesn't. So, I came here for over 30 days, risked my life, through this mustache to blend in, just so I could get you the real story of Cuba. It may not be pretty. If you have any small children, you may want to take them out of the room. What you're about to see is frightening. One of the things Havana, Cuba is famous for is the seawall that separates it from the ocean. But what Cuba is really known for is their antique cars. Yeah, they look all nice and pretty, but you never see anyone in it. And why is that? Why is no one ever riding in these cars? Because it's a sham. These cars are a front. The government has even gone as far as to hire people to ride in cars. These people are just actors paid by the government to pretend to be a joy in their car. All to help make the front of this antique car ring look legit. So what about the other classic cars, you might ask? Well, they show up right here on this corner. And that's where the locals know these cars are real and they can ride in them. But you won't find any tourists here. It's strictly for the locals. Like this Pontiac four-door pickup truck. Yeah. Yeah, they always save the good stuff for themselves. If I had a tour manager, I'd want my money back. Some of the lucky locals have their own cars. This is known as the Yugo's little brother. The real transportation is saved for the locals. The locals use these luxurious and spacious style tour buses. Yeah, they always use the good stuff for themselves. Meanwhile, I heard many tourists tell of stories where they rented a Bel Air Chevrolet only to be duped. And when it come time to get in the car, they were switched. Federales were on to me. I had to make a move. The move was now. After a healthy bribe of several pesos, a government official sent me to the Florida, where I would find some more of these cars. And I hit the mother load. Here was two right off the bat. Unknowing passengers thinking they're American classic are getting into these little bubble mobiles. <laughs> You may rent a 57 Chevy, but what they replace it with is this for you and your family. Yeah. It's appalling. And now that I was in the inner circle, I've been seeing a lot of these. I began seeing more of these little bubble cars. And everywhere I looked, it seemed, was another one of these oversized ping pong ball taxis. 